for Grayscale. Remember, it has been fighting the SEC's decision, and now it has uh, the courts in there. Favor. If you look at the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, this is the main entity that would face a conversion. This is one of the longest standing, largest trusts holding Bitcoin in which retail and institutional investors have been able to gain exposure for many, many years now. You are looking that discount to net asset value really narrowing here. Very, at this very moment, it stands at uh, about 24% under its net asset value, but uh, that is expected to narrow as they get closer to the ETF conversion, which has really become a main thesis for investing in this fund and beyond that is as you're saying there is a whole host mm -hmm. of other ETF filings in the pipeline and this is boding well for those firms I will also say that in addition to the grayscale Bitcoin trust finding uh, some love on the heels of this decision you are also seeing Bitcoin itself up above 27,000 it's a uh, four almost five percent jump in the market right now because the idea here is that by a potential conversion here for the grayscale Bitcoin trust into an ETF, it could draw massive adoption from financial advisors, retail investors. Think about how much money on the sidelines uh, could be sitting there from the likes of the large wirehouses that could become more comfortable about putting their clients into a regulated ETF mm -hmm. exposed to Bitcoin rather than spot Bitcoin itself. As Danny was talking about in terms of the pipeline, though, I mean, does this mean the SEC is like, well, all right, fine, you all get it? Or they're still going to be case by case basis? And is Grayscale then different? That is the massive question here, the order, because we have seen from the other products out there linked to cryptocurrencies, the first ones out of the gate have had massive adoption mm -hmm. by a landslide. So first out of the gate matters a lot. There's a lot of discussion about how the SEC handles this pipeline because the idea here is not to make the same mistakes as we've seen in prior products where the first ones out of the gate got a lot of inflows and then the other products tend to lag behind. The idea here is choice and investor protection partially means also choice for investors.